Hey everyone, welcome back to the Figurebit channel. We've got another big haul unboxing for you again. This time we have a lot of Mezco 112 scale horror and some awesome life size gremlins by Trick or Treat Studios. We have one, two, three, four Hot Toys Predators and a big chap alien and a little T800 by Great Twins, who I'm not too familiar with, but I'm told that's a really awesome looking piece. So I'm looking forward to busting him out and taking a look. Now, me and Nick are a bit undecided as to what we're gonna do about the life-size Gremlins. We're both huge Gremlins fans, kids of the 80s. So we may get one of these each for ourselves, but not 100% sure on that yet. And also worth noting, the tip of the spear on the scar predator here from avp the tip of the spear broke off so you can glue that back on if you wish it's actually easy to happen my wolf predator is mink and dish but his tip of the spear broke off as well so i need to glue the tip of my spear onto the wolf predator um smart stick what was it combi stick from them uh, also this is nick's predator one the original hot toys predator one one six scale figure uh, he's trading that in to get this classic version and then I'm going to trade in my Hot Toys C800 Battle Damage version from Terminator 1 to get the original Predator. So the original Predator will not be for sale, it's just part of this big haul unboxing because it's all the new stuff that we've got. So the actual figures that will definitely be for sale on our website are the City Hunter from Predator 2 which is behind Stripe there and the scar predator will be for sale on the website the t800 will be available on our website as will the big chap alien and all of these mezco 112 figures the dawn of the dead double zombie set the ash from evil dead 2 freddy krueger jason Voorhees, they'll all be available on our website so make sure you check us out at www.thefigurepit.com we buy and trade figures with collectors in the UK. So you can sell us your figures in bulk or individually, send a courier to your house to come collect it. Or you can trade some of your figures with the stock that we have to get something new. Just trying to make it easy for collectors in the UK to get new stuff and to move on things that they maybe got bored of. Or maybe they just want to get some cash or free up some space in their collection. So we'll just start with the Trick or Treat Studios Gremlins. And they are both puppets, so you can put your hand up the uh, the back of the neck and work the mouth. And the arms are poseable, they have a big thick wire going through them, so you can position the arms how you like. Obviously this is Stripe from the first movie. And his eyes and some details are different between the Stripe Gremlin and the, the more kind of generic drone Gremlin, shall we say, the foot soldiers. Yeah, so slightly different eyes, slightly different expression and slightly different details when it comes to the patterning as well and the paint job. So there's some nice subtle differences between them, but absolutely incredible. I mean, Trick or Treat Studios knocked these out of the park. I think Necker have done some as well. I believe they did some Gremlins 2 stuff. I've always been after the, the female Gremlin from Gremlins 2, the green one. She is a family favorite, shall we say. But these are incredible. So me and Nick are going to decide what we're going to do. Um, we might just get one and sort of share it between us every now and then, just sort of swap it. <laughs> but it's just so cool for display. Uh, Nick says there was um, a Warner Brothers store in Kingston in West London. And I went there once when I was a bit younger and I remember seeing the Gremlins hanging from the ceiling. Uh, but Nick's more familiar with that store than me. So there's a big nostalgia factor with these life-size gremlins because they remind him of going to the Warner Brothers store. And I remember growing up in the 80s uh, when gremlins first came out and there was a, a toy shop where I lived and I was very very little. I was about maybe five six years old but I do remember some big gremlins just kind of on the top shelves high up above me just kind of glancing down at me. It's always freaked me out but I love the gremlins and as I've always said it's not Christmas in my house until we watch gremlins. I love both the movies surprised they never did a part three but there they are absolutely incredible detail on those trick-or-treat studios life-size gremlins these two really are so cool especially this cheeky little one down here look at his face oh love me some gremlins 
And the stripe up there, watch out for him. He's a cheeky one. Those teeth. Alright, so first up we have the Hot Toys 1-6 scale Predator's Classic Predator. And remember this one will not be for sale because Nick is trading in his original Jungle Hunter Predator for this one. But I'm going to include it in the big unboxing here. Just show you what it looks like. Apparently it has all the little accessories included to make it look like the original Predator. So that'll be interesting. Pretty cool packaging on this line. Not my favourite box art designs, but it gets the job done. Alright, so here are the little parts that you need. Little trophies and such to turn him into the Jungle Hunter from the original movie. He comes with a pretty cool base underneath there, we'll check that out in a minute. But here is the Predator himself, with the two different bio masks. And this one over here with the, uh, the kind of side bit missing. Some of those cool holographic blue uh, accessories you can put onto his gauntlet. And the changeable mandibles. And let's lift up this first layer. Yeah, that's some serious base action right there. I forgot how big that was. Look at a huge part of a skull there as well. And like some kind of alien hide. And some spare hands, they look great. So, very cool. Let's get him out and put him in a quick pose. And here he is. In a nice aggressive pose. With the open splayed hands. Open mandibles roaring in your face. There he is, folks. My classic pred. Been awesome. That base is serious business as well. There's no messing about there. And he's got some evil eyes. Nice paintwork on the inside of the mouth, too. Excellent looking piece. Good balance as well. So there you have it folks. The Hot Toys Predators Classic Predator. A new addition to Nick's collection. Well I've attached all of these extra little trophy bits to the Classic Predator here. I don't know if I put them in the right place exactly but it's a bit of a rush job. Now if this was mine I would definitely weather those trophies and bone things a little bit more. Just a little bit of a black wash on them. They're a bit clean. I know he does clean them. We see him do that in Predator 2. But yeah I'd give them a little bit of a, a weathering. But otherwise that looks fantastic. Um, yes. A very cool looking piece. Standing proud and tall. Excellent. And now on to the Hot Toys 1-6 scale Jungle Hunter, the original Predator from the first movie. This has one of the most incredible boxes Hot Toys have ever designed. The slip cover is an, it's kind of like a transparent plastic that gives that impression when he's kind of using his cloaking device. Absolutely classic piece here, folks. And there you can see, once you remove the beautiful slip cover, you get a full look at the Predator here on the box art. Absolutely awesome packaging. Some of the best hot toys I've ever done. And here he is, inside the packaging. Housed very snug. The trophy spine, the skull, beautiful jungle base, and the predator himself. Interchangeable mandibles, med pack, helmet, spare hands. Alright, so here he is, out of the packaging, loose, ready to hunt down Arnie and his team. Yeah, there you go. This still holds up, folks. He's really posable. I was able to get him with his feet flat on the ground like this, which I wasn't able to do with the other one. But this one, I mean, the articulation, it shows a bit more. 
you can see the joints different body you know to the newer ones that they've made but this one still has it man it's still got that magic touch and a really accurate scary head sculpt I mean they nailed it the look in the eyes the coloring absolutely incredible so I will more than likely be trading in my Terminator part one cop shootout version for this guy I used to have him sold him a long time ago many years ago but I've always kind of missed him so he'll go nicely with my elder predator my city hunter and my wolf predator but just look at that man you can almost hear the roar excellent and should be doing a separate comparison video between this guy and the classic so always wanted to do that looks like i finally get my chance years later so look out for that on the channel yeah, i just switched out to the closed mandibles again i think they absolutely nailed that in the moment where he's about to pass through the little trap with the the spikes and Arnie's saying, come on, I'm here, kill me, kill me, I'm here, do it. All that stuff. And he gives him that look as if to say, I know what you're up to. And then he gets up and goes around the obstacle. Oh, the trap. Oh man, they nailed it. I love the head sculpt on this. I mean, I know the paint apps would probably be way improved now. But this is a classic piece right here. The look in his face. Let's try the mask. All right, so I've got the bio mask on and the trophy skull and spine in his hand. And he's looking awesome. Let's bring back all those memories of years. I had this in my collection. I was posing it all the time. I used to take it to the local forest, take pictures of him sitting up in trees and stuff. <laughs> yeah, got some funny looks from the dog walkers, but hey, the results were worth it. So there it is, folks. The Hot Toys 1-6 scale original OG Predator soon to be rejoining my collection welcome back my friend all right folks now on to the alien versus predator scar predator one six scale figure by hot toys never seen this guy in person this is one of the more recent ones i think not quite as bulky as those original avp preds so curious to see this okay this guy is seriously loaded you've got the uh, spare hands all the metal blades here watch out for those kids they are deadly and uh, there is the tip of the spear that broke off it happens a lot folks that happened to my wolf predator as well I need to glue it back on but it is in the box so you can just glue it back on no problemo here is the scar predator himself it's quite the face look at those eyes <laughs> so first time seeing this guy in person he's big all right, so here he is. He's a big one. He's a big pred. Check out that face. Yep. That's some crazy detail on this. I'm not a big fan of this design, folks. I don't really like the way they looked in AVP. They were too big. Too bulky. Uh, these guys are supposed to be able to sort of jump from branch to branch and do all kinds of you know, nimble maneuvers, and this guy's just, I mean, he's strong enough to do it, but is he light enough to do it? He's a big guy. These, uh, you know, back when the AVP came out, I just remember thinking they reminded me of WWE wrestlers inside the suits. It was just, they were too big. I like the more kind of slim, the slim look of the original, and the city hunter, and the wolf predator, I think, is one of my favorite designs. They went with a more slim look for him. But I'm sure he'll go quickly. We just got the one of these in stock, folks. It's an absolute beast. It comes with so much stuff. Now I have the bio mask on the figure. Definitely prefer the way it looks with the mask on. It's very intimidating. And there you have it, folks. The AVP Scar Predator. Available on our website. And now on to the Hot Toys 1-6 scale Predator 2 City Hunter. 
got this one at home testify to the fact that it is a fine, fine piece. Until you take off the bio mask and then you realise they just repainted the Shadow Predator head sculpt. Lazy sods, but with the mask on, absolutely awesome. Let's crack him open. Now here he is, fully, fully loaded. We've got the skull and spine trophy, his bio mask, medipack, a little trophy with a little pouch thingy, a combi stick, smart disc, and the predator himself. Beautiful colouring on this guy. But like I said, it's a damn shame that it didn't, uh, you know, give us a new head sculpt for this. The original Predator 2 figure from Hot Toys. I think they did a clean and a battle damage version, if I remember correctly. But both of those had better head sculpts, more accurate than this one. I mean, it does look amazing. The paintwork is insane. The eyes are really scary. But it is just a repaint of an older head sculpt that wasn't actually a Predator 2 head. Well, technically it was. I think it was the Shadow Predator from the Lost Clan or whatever. But, yeah. Everything about him is awesome apart from the inaccurate head sculpt. But once you put the bio mask on, you've got yourself pretty much a perfect City Hunter. R.I.P. to Kevin Peter Hall, who played the Predator in the first two films. You know, the, uh, the chap who played the wolf predator is the only one who's come close so far. You get more stuff over here as well. That's his severed arm that you can interchange. Got some hands, wrist pegs, two breathers, one to hold in his hand and one that actually attaches to the face and then the mandibles. So, the total package. You get a lot of bang for your buck with P2. All right, and here he is, standing on his base, looking good. So, uh, I always got mixed up with the name. Nick said it was the Shadow Predator. He always kind of looked like a snake to me. Not this one, but one of the other ones Hot Toys released. This is blatantly just a repainted version of that head sculpt. That does not look like the City Hunter head. Damn shame. But we'll put the bio mask on in a minute and you'll see it suddenly turn into the City Hunter. Why couldn't they have just made a bit of extra effort and re-sculpted the head? They fixed it when they were making the newer version of the Elder Predator from Predator 2. Remember, there was the original one with the older bodies that you had to put together yourselves. And then they did the Elder again, and people weren't too happy with the promotional images, so they went back and fixed it before they released it, but they didn't do that with this one. I mean, it's still evil looking. This is one of the scariest looking Hot Toys Predator heads, but it's just not very accurate. The The top of the head, the crown or whatever you want to call it, isn't as high as it should be. It's more flat. But let's put the, the bio mask on. Uh, something worth mentioning, this little flap here that you can see, uh, right there, that does drop off quite easily, but it also sticks back on easily. So. I think mine might be a similar situation if just when you're probably posing him and moving the legs that little flap section might drop off every now and then but it does clip right back on again so other than that minty fresh and with the bio mask on things are greatly improved visually still not 100% perfect the actual color tone of the mask itself and I guess all of the armor sections do seem a little bit dark. Not sure if bronze is the right word that I'm thinking of here for the correct color, but it definitely does seem a little bit dark here. Still a great looking piece. But it certainly has a presence. All right, folks, so there he is the City Hunter available on our website should definitely grab a quick bit of footage of all these guys together while I've got them here just so you can see so Scar on the end original Jungle Hunter there City Hunter from Predator 2 and the Predators classic Predator with some of the trophies from Predator 1 put on him. There we go. 
What's your favourite, folks? Which one do you prefer? It's a tough one for me. I'm kind of stuck between the two in the middle. Uh, probably go with the original. I know he's got an older body and he's not quite as updated as the others, but... I don't know, there's still something about that original Predator 1 that I just love. Now moving on to the Great Twins 12 scale T800 Terminator 2 Judgment Day figure. Now this is my first time seeing one of these in person. I've heard good things and Nick says this, it looks absolutely incredible so looking forward to seeing him. I think they also might have made a endoskeleton at some point as well. But let's crack him open and see what the deal is. Well this certainly does look impressive. Check out Arnie. That's a great head sculpt for a 112 scale. The clothing looks good. All the accessories you'd need. Check that out. Everything. Is that a spare neck? I'm not too sure what that's about, but I'm sure I'll find out. And you get another base over here with an endo skull on top. And the interchangeable arm, another fist. So he is truly fully loaded. Oh my goodness, check that out folks. Double bend in the elbow and everything. Holding a tiny little Arnold Schwarzenegger in my hand. Well, Nick was right, I'm seriously impressed with him. For a 112 scale figure, this is seriously next level. The clothing, the accessories, the likeness. Absolutely awesome, I love the base. And then you get a second base over here, and that has light up eyes on the endoskull. They actually light up. The battery is in there. I tried it out. They light up really nicely. I'll turn them on now and get a quick look. So, yep, yeah, there you go. With the eyes lit up now. It's a really nice touch. So you get two bases to choose from. This one's very nice and subtle and classy. Gets the job done. Nice little metal rod. It goes into like a groin grabber type situation. Glasses, so small. But they didn't feel too fragile, so it wasn't too nerve wracking putting them on. But this is a great piece, folks. I wouldn't mind having this. That's my favorite look for Arnie from T2, is the first kind of 20 minutes of the movie where he's all in black. It's definitely my favorite look from any of the Terminator films. And there's his little glasses. And the very nice clean base. And there is the head sculpt in all its glory without the glasses. Excellent paint job on that. And don't forget about all those accessories you get as well, folks. You can pretty much... you got every weapon from the movie, almost. It's pretty impressive stuff. And now we have the big chap alien from the original movie. My favorite alien still has been topped after all those sequels. It still can't be the original big chap. And here he is by Mafex and also Medicom Toys. So I've seen videos of this guy on YouTube and he looks incredible. The posability seems to be pretty much unmatched. So very curious to see what he's like. Let's get him out. And here he is, the perfect organism. <laughs> he stands up fine by himself. He doesn't come with a base or a stand. So it's a good thing he has good balance. Very poseable. So I'm going to see what I can come up with here. Comes with a spare head. And I believe you'll be able to have the open mouth look with the inner jaw. Well, the inner mouth coming out and you've got a little face hugger there a chest burster as well great detail on that and some spare hands so you get a fair bit of stuff with him i love the coloring that's the kind of crazy stuff you can get up to with something as possible as this bit of meditation for the big chap Reflecting on his actions. 
So that's the first thing that popped in my head. Can he sit cross-legged? Yes, he can. <laughs> and this is the spare head, which has the interchangeable bottom jaw, so you can have the mouth open and closed, which is something I said Hot Toys should do years ago. A really, really good design here. And you can take the dome off, and you can see the scary skull. So that's very tempting as well for me, because <laughs> I do like that look. But I don't want to handle him too much, folks. I put him in a little pose there, but I'm going to leave that up to whoever is lucky enough to buy this guy. So, for your consideration, folks, the Mafex slash Medicon Alien Big Chap. And now we're moving on to some awesome 112 scale Mezco horror figures. First up, we have Freddy Krueger from the original Nightmare on Elm Street, a piece that I have at home. And there he is housed inside his packaging with, let's see, a total of one, two, three, four heads plus some kind of, uh, maybe five heads. I'll have to double check that. <laughs> it's been a while since I looked for all my accessories. You even get the trash can lid. It's an amazing piece, this one, folks. I have it at home, like I said. If you want to see uh, the treatment, the review that I gave him, check it out on my channel, Dean Night Free Free Free. But let's pop him open and remind ourselves just how many heads he comes with. All right, so it is four head sculpts, but with an interchangeable uh, faceplate that you can put on over this one here, where he's uh, in the, the back garden with Tina. Still terrifies me, this film. The music doesn't help. It's <laughs> really scary. Uh, gosh, the memories. What, what year did this come out? Was it 84? Or maybe a little bit after? I'm not sure. But I was way too young to see this when I did see it. Up in my friend's bedroom. And uh, we were both pretty scared. We're only little kids. About six years old. <laughs> oh, man. Good times. But... Oh man, Mezco do such a good job with these little horror figures, man. The detail on this. Look at his sweater. Look at the detail on the head sculpt. Glove. His pants. Shoes. And you get a different glove as well. With a pointing blade finger. And then the hand where he slices his own finger off and all the green goo. Is oozing out. Or gushing. Look at the detail on those hands though, man. Come on. Behave yourself, Mezco. Or, who is it? Is it Mezco? I forget. Yes, yeah, Mezco. No, yes, it is. <laughs> Mate, I'm almost 40. So, my brain is starting to uh, wither. Not as sharp as I used to be. Anyway, let me uh, pose him up, see how he looks. A fine piece. Grab a little shot at the back of this box so you can clearly see what it comes with and what is achievable. Oh, yeah. Excellent package. And here he is. Thank you very much. The Dream Stealer. Don't go to sleep. Freddy gonna get you. <laughs> oh yeah, you're gonna have to sleep sometime, bitch. <laughs> then he's gonna come snatch your ass from the back. I don't know what I'm talking about. Again, almost 40, so brain is not what it used to be. <laughs> Oh man, this piece. I haven't even really posed him, just plonked him on his base. By the way, sick base. Hey, eh? look at that. Ooh, in keeping. Just reminding you that this is the original Frederico Kruger. Super posable, in case you were wondering. And thanks to the uh, little peg that his foot goes into on the base. Great balance too. Let's see if I can get in and just show you the detail on that head sculpt. Incredible. For 112 scale, this is insane. It comes with three other heads, all with completely different expressions and moods. This is one of Mesco's best pieces, I've got to say. I think it's uh, really, really remarkable. I mean, I have the Pennywise, Freddy, and Michael Myers. But we've got Jason here, who I've never seen in person. We've also got Ash from Evil Dead 2 here. So first time seeing those in a minute. Looking forward to that. But don't forget, folks, Freddy comes with all these other head sculpts as well. 
Alright, so there are the other head sculpts, man. This is insane. I mean, I have this figure, and it's hitting me all over again. I really need to... I wish I had more time to uh, go back and just repose things. I mean, I do that anyway on my channel, you know that, but seeing this now and all the different options you have it really hits home. This is an incredible piece, and the Pennywise, it's another incredible one by Mezco. Look at that. Come on now. That's Hot Toys quality. Anyway, folks, he is for sale on our website. Let's move on to the next one. Absolutely amazing piece. Now on to Jason Voorhees, Friday the 13th, Part 3, 112 scale figure from Mezco. Nice packaging. You can see the woods in the distance. Dude is fully loaded. Let's take a look at everything he comes with here. All the weapons. Absolutely everything you need. There's probably more underneath this tray as well, but already this is 10 times better than the Sideshow 1-6 scale figure of Jason from Part 3. For starters, he's got the accurate color clothing and the weapons that you would want and a removable hockey mask. <coughs> Sideshow. Ugh. Uh, and the... Oh man, that is a great head sculpt. Look at that. See, I've never seen this one before. This is amazing. Man... If I had a little bit more cash in my back pocket, I would purchase this guy. Because I've already got quite a few Mezco figures. Mostly thanks to amazing people out there in the community. But this is a great looking piece. Let's pose him up. Oh yeah, well there's the rest of the weapons. Damn. Look at that. Ha! <laughs> you got a wrench. And what's that? Oh right, that's the little... Was it like a harpoon gun thing? Oh, damn. The stand as well. Oh, and another weapon. Was that a fire poker? It's got everything, man. Everything. This is the full experience. He's going to sell quick. If he doesn't, I'd be very, very surprised. Uh, clean mask. Battle damage mask. Really good looking hand sculpts as well, considering that's 112 scale. Come on now, that is uh, that's serious business. So, holding on to the axe, I'll tell you straight up, man, this is amazing. I'm totally blown away by this figure. Everything about it is spot on. This is greatness. Love the base, love the clothing, the color of the clothing, the weapons, the amount of weapons. Just knock this out of the park. Absolutely incredible. Look at the eyes inside there, looking slightly to the side. And it's the detail on his neck the level of detail on his neck and the ear that is amazing so I just removed the hockey mask because that's something you can do with this one <coughs> Sideshow yeah, sorry in case you were uh, not too clued up on that situation Sideshow Collectibles made a 1-6 scale part 3 Jason a couple of years back and you can't remove his mask and it makes no sense and they made Freddy Krueger in one six scale as well and you can't remove his hat and if you do remove his hat you'll see that they didn't even bother finishing his head sculpt he's got no top of his head I had to do it myself with super sculpty clay um, but this one is just an absolute work of art two masks, two heads clean, battle damaged and every weapon you could ever want uh, this is an exceptional piece folks I mean I haven't even posed him up with half of the stuff he comes with it is, um, it's ridiculous. You get loads of other stuff here as well. Different weapons. Oh, that's the bit I'm looking for. Yeah, all these weapons. More weapons here, more hands. Everything you need. So folks, whoever gets this is a lucky collector. Mezco 112 scale, Friday the 13th, part 3, Jason Voorhees. 10 out of 10. Absolutely. And moving on to Ash, 112 scale by Mezco, Evil Dead 2, Dead by Dawn. Let's get a look at the back of the box here, because it clearly shows you everything you get. 
Yeah, well, you know what I'm looking at. <laughs> oh man, you can even do the dead eye ash. Look at this, man. Oh, awesome, awesome, awesome stuff. I really do need an Ash Williams in my collection back home. I know Sideshow made one in 1 6 scale, but it's really good looking, but not obviously good looking enough for me to have got it yet, so I don't know. Maybe I'll get this one one day. But let's crack him open, get a look. He looks great from the packaging. Really bloody and weathered. Well, again, this comes with so much stuff, it's kind of overwhelming. You get everything you would need. You've got a really good head sculpt there with clearly uh, towards the end of the film quite a lot of blood. That head sculpt is insane. That's the Deadite Ash or Evil Ash, whatever you want to call him. But that is awesome looking. Oh, the chainsaw. Come on now. That is brutal looking. The blood on that. Some different hands. Oh, this is Boomstick. Book of the Dead. Hey! <laughs> this is Severed Hand. Oh, and I forgot about that. You get this too. Uh, ooh, what was his name? Is it Henrietta? I'm forgetting. Might be getting mixed up with another character, but here's the figure himself. That looks awesome. Absolutely awesome. Wow. Honestly, folks, blown away by this Mezco stuff. Absolutely blown away. I mean, like I said, I got Freddy, Pennywise. Uh, I can't remember now. Oh, and Michael Myers, yeah. But Pennywise in particular is is, is amazing. The head sculpts that come with him. I mean, all of these are amazing. Honestly, I haven't seen a one twelve scale Mezco figure yet that I didn't love straight away. This is awesome. Well, I'm blown away. Quite frankly, the next level has been achieved. This is awesome. So many possibilities. Something this poseable that comes with this many options and accessories and weapons and heads. It's... It's what you hope for, you know, with all your favorite characters when they get made into figures. You just want to be able to pull off stuff like this. You know, all the different looks. And look at the way the, uh, the flap of the shirt hangs over. Look at the, the stained blood on his iconic blue shirt. Absolutely awesome stuff. Man, I'm quite tempted to try and get this myself, but I've traded in all the, you know, everything that I can trade in to get stuff. And everything that I've got now in my collection is stuff I want to keep, but this is so tempting. But he is up for grabs, guys, on our website. I'm going to change him into the Evil Ash, or the Deadite Ash, just so we can see how that looks, but I really am impressed with this. And that's just the kind of stuff you can do with something like this, man. Incredible. That's the moment where he's kind of fighting against it. He's like, damn you! No! <laughs> oh, man. Me likey. For your consideration. Some lucky bugger's gonna buy this. Let's move on to the final Mezco set, which is the Dawn of the Dead double zombie action pack. And finally, we have the Mezco 112 double pack. This is George A. Romero's Dawn of the Dead plaid shirt zombie and flyboy zombie. Now, I was just saying to Nick, I've seen Night of the Living Dead and I've seen the remake of Dawn of the Dead, but forgive me, folks, I have not seen in its entirety the uh, original Dawn of the Dead. However, even though I haven't really seen the film, I still recognize both these guys just from over the years, seeing clips, you know, when you're watching YouTube videos, you fall down the rabbit hole. You know how it is, but Jesus, these look awesome. So I do need to watch this. I mean, it is October after all, Halloween coming up, so I'm going to get this film watched finally. We've all got those uh, couple of movies that we should have seen, but just haven't yet. I mean, I've seen bits of it, but yeah, I'm definitely going to be watching this very soon. So everything on the back, that's what you get. Let's bust her open. 
and just give you a quick look at the first thing you see when you lift off the slip cover. And two zombies and they both look awesome already. So you've got the two zombies side by side and the gun up there, one base behind them and then underneath the first tray you get the second base with the two stands. And these guys look absolutely awesome. Look at his look at this zombie skin. Oh, that's creepy. Whew. Wow. Excellent. Let's pose them up. Zombies! <laughs> Brains. That's right, their favourite food is your grey matter. Oh, come on, man, that is just insanely good. Check out the detail. That head sculpt. Super impressive. It's hard to say, but I think this one's my favourite. I prefer the colouring on everything on this one, but his face kind of steals the show. <laughs> Man, that's awesome. Alright folks, that's the end of the big unboxing. It's been a really special one, getting to see some of these figures I've never seen before in person for the first time. Mezco have totally blown my mind with these. Absolutely amazing. I hope they go to a good home. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget, most of this stuff is going to be for sale on our website, apart from the stuff that I mentioned, like the gremlins and a couple of predators. Everything else will be up for grabs. Ooh, hello. Predators in the house. So, let us know what you think in the comments section. Always good to hear from you. Make sure you follow us on Instagram, subscribe to this YouTube channel. Don't forget, Figure Pit is here to help people sell figures in the UK, whether it be in bulk or just individual figures that you want to shift on. We'll send a courier to come and collect it. Check out our website for all the info. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you real soon. Take it easy. Bye-bye.